This First Amendment audit has been brought to you in part by Hippopotamus Lotion. All right. Nasty Nathaniel out here in the city of Upland, California. All right, now I'm going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of Ford of Upland. They've been serving you and me since 1960. And we're going to make sure that our friends at Ford here in Upland, California, respect and honor the First Amendment of the United States Constitution which gives me the right to record what I can see from a public space. So let's go over there and hop in a Ford. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is Ford of Upland. Um, this is actually uh, a new location that uh, they just opened up. But Ford is not a new company. Uh, Ford's been around for more than 100 years. Uh, it actually goes back to 1901 when it started out as the Henry Ford Company. And then a year later, that became the Cadillac Motor Company. But the Ford uh, that we know of today officially began in 1903. And um, they've produced uh, a gazillion cars over the years. The first being to the Model T, and then uh, went to the Model A. Well, the company was founded in 1903, like I just mentioned, by Henry Ford. And uh, Henry Ford is kind of a kind of, con of a controversial figure. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that during this audit, but uh, if you guys want to look up. Uh, Henry Ford controversy, you're more than welcome to. He uh, sympathized uh, with some, well, you know, you guys can look it up yourself. I'm not going to get into this. This audit isn't political. It's about making sure that this Ford dealership respects my constitutional right to record in public. So let's see how they do. Maybe we got some parts delivery people there going inside. Maybe they're delivering uh, some parts for Ford. Or I don't know, maybe they're uh, delivering a, a collection of pornographic DVDs that the general managers has ordered. I don't know. I mean... We got a Ford pickup truck backing up. Looks like he's gonna come out. Maybe that was a parts delivery person. Oh, we got somebody following him. Or maybe it's uh, somebody test driving a new Ford. Maybe he's uh, in the market to get a F. Oh, is that an F-150? Oh, wow. All right. Hi. Oh, a friendly wave. There's one of these flexes. I think those are ugly. I'm not, I've never really been a big fan of those. They just got like an ugly body style. I don't know. Some people must like them. Check. We got another. Is that a Ford Escape? My ex had one of those. I was never really a big fan of that their body style either. This is one of those goofy little Ford. Uh, yeah, that's one of those. I don't know what they. Oh no. Oh, he's not stopping. I think they call that the Transit. It's like a little like utility delivery vehicle. Looks like a salesman over there. Maybe he's not a salesman. Maybe he's like a, maybe he's like the parts manager. Maybe he's in charge of inventory or something like that. I think he sees me. Well, I wonder if him or anybody will come over here and offer uh, me a good deal on a on a new Ford. Maybe they'll give me the special First Amendment auditor's rate. You know which includes special financing. Or I don't know, maybe they'll just tell me to piss off. <laughs> Is he coming out? Or... or if he's gonna come over here and talk with me, or maybe he's gonna go over there and move one of the cars, or... Oh, it looks like he's gonna move that uh, Explorer. It's a white Explorer. Maybe it's going to become a 
a police vehicle. You know, some of the California Highway Patrol drive white explorers. They call those the polar bear. There he goes, he's pulling out the polar bear. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. I guess I should say he will be coming round the mountain when he comes. Maybe he's going to go to in and out and get him a double-double and a shake. in and outs just right down the street. All right, gentleman right there, he's in a suit. He's getting in the Ford, or no, maybe he's not. Maybe he's just expecting the cars, making sure that the cars are clean and ready to be shown to uh, potential buyers. That's what it's all about here. Attracting those potential buyers. He doesn't seem too concerned with me. Hopefully he doesn't sneak up on me. There he goes. He's going back towards the shop. I wonder who he's on the phone with. Maybe he's calling Canadian Rights Media. Gonna get the 411 from him about me. Find out what I'm up to. Got a couple gentlemen over there. I wonder what they're doing. They look like they're in suits. Maybe they're in upper management or something. Maybe they're uh, working out some big deals. Going back inside. Looks like we got somebody coming my way. Howdy. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. It's amazing what a camera can do. Yeah. You got everybody wondering what you're taking pictures of. Oh, I'm just doing a thing about Ford. I'm interested in Fords. I got a fetish for Fords. Okay. Yeah. This shop is new, isn't it? Or this dealership is new? Yeah, it is. But you've been in Upland for quite a while now. Yeah, I, allegedly, I don't know, not me in particular. Oh, you're kind of new? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know awesome. I've been trying to build this store for like 10 years or something. Though. Oh, but but it's actually open now, isn't it? Yeah. They're just kind of like moving vehicles in and stuff? We got all of our new vehicles here. Oh, so, awesome. Uh, and we're turning the old location into like a fleet department. Oh, into a fleet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like, like commercial like, vehicles exactly, and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. No, thank you. No, I'm just interested in it. That's all. You wouldn't have to. Do you know Parker Osman? Doesn't work here. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe he was at the old location. Oh, okay. yeah. It could have been at the old location. Yeah. No, that's all. Nothing nefarious. I just want to get some shots of some of the cars, and then I'll. Would you mind just do me one favor when it comes to people involved? Because you know how people are. Like me, I don't care. You got a camera right on my face. But there's some people they get a little bit like a like offended or they get a little like nervous or they're like I don't want to be okay would you at least just do me a favor if you see people and stuff not to film them I'm not interested in scaring off your customers so I, I, I understand I, yeah. that. Cool. I get that what's your name huh what's your name oh people call me Nate Christian Christian yeah. all right nice to meet you Christian appreciate it hey thanks for being professional too you know you mentioned about people freaking out you know sometimes yes, the employees freak I mean, out too I got all the employees inside they're like why is this guy taking videos I'm like I don't know let me find out okay so, cool. no I don't mean no harm or anything I'm just gonna be here a little while longer and I'm gonna take off that's okay, all cool all right yeah, I, that, that, just do that for me I appreciate it just yeah when there's people I understand. No, I, I respect that. You know, everybody's like, oh, my private privacy. Oh, no, no, no. Like, that. Yeah, everybody knows what everybody's doing. I mean, I mean yeah, they I'm got... not a bit afraid of that stuff. You realize that, yeah. Some people are, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. People still freak out, yeah. Thanks, Thank you, man. I appreciate right. it. All right. Well, he was uh, mighty professional. I'll definitely give him a pass. Okie dokie. Well, I've been here for a bit and you guys saw what happened if you've been watching the whole thing. Uh, that guy came out and he was pretty friendly, pretty professional, didn't push the issue. I mean, he, you know, respectfully asked that I not film customers, which, you know, technically I can film whatever I want from a public space. But, you know, he was cool about it. He didn't make any demands. It was a peaceful request. So, you know, I'll go ahead and give him and Ford of Upland a pass. I'm going to say they passed this audit. 
great job, Fort of Upland. For anyone who lives in the uh, Inland Empire area, if you're uh, in the market for a new fort, definitely come visit Fort of Upland. So until next time, may the audits be with you.